Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Starting in Excel 2016, you can insert a forecast sheet into your workbook to predict future trends from existing time-based data. To create a forecast sheet, you must have a series of date or time entries for the timeline, as well as corresponding values for those time or date entries. From these existing date or time values, Excel can then project future trends and the associated values for future dates. Before you create a forecast sheet, you should ensure your timeline values have consistent intervals between its data points. For example, you could have consistent daily, monthly, or yearly values for which you want to create a forecast. The timeline can have up to 30% of its data points missing or have duplicate time stamps on different values and still produce an accurate forecast. However, you may want to summarize and organize the data before creating the forecast sheet to produce the most accurate forecast. To create the forecast sheet, select either both data series to forecast or click into a cell within one of the data series to forecast. Then click the forecast sheet button in the forecast button group on the data tab in the ribbon to open the create forecast worksheet dialog box. Choose either the create a line chart or the create a column chart button in the upper right corner of the dialog box to display the forecast as either a line chart or a column chart. Below the chart, you can use the forecast end drop downs or spinner box to set the end date time or ending value and set how far out the forecast should be projected. If you want to set additional advanced options, click the options arrow or link at the bottom of the dialog box to expand that section if needed. You can select a different forecast start date by using the forecast start drop downs or spinner box to set the start date time or starting value for the forecast. If you pick a date before the end of the historical data, only data prior to the start date is used in the forecast. For seasonal data, Excel recommends starting the forecast before the last historical point. You can check or uncheck the confidence interval checkbox to show or hide the confidence interval in the forecast. If shown, the default confidence level of 95% can be changed by using the adjacent spinner box or by typing a new percentage to use into the box. To choose how to determine seasonal intervals, select an option button under Seasonality. The default option is Detect Automatically. To manually set seasonality intervals, select the Set Manually option button and enter the seasonal value into the adjacent field. For example, in a yearly sales cycle where each data point plotted represents one month, the seasonality value would be 12. When manually setting seasonality, avoid using a value less than 2 to prevent the forecast from reverting to a linear trend. In the Timeline Range fields, you should see the range of timeline values. These are the time values that correspond to the data values shown in the Values Range field. The Values Range field contains the data values for the timeline values. You can use the Fill Missing Points Using dropdown to select zeros if you want to fill in missing data points with zeros. The default value of interpolation uses the weighted average of neighboring points to fill in the value of missing points. If your data series contains multiple values with the same date time stamp, Excel will average the values with the same date time stamp. To use a different function, such as median, for example, select the function to use from the aggregate duplicates using dropdown. To include forecast statistics on a new sheet, check the Include Forecast Statistics checkbox. This includes a table of statistics generated by the forecast.ets.stat function and includes measures such as the smoothing coefficients and error metrics. When you are ready to create the forecast sheet, click the Create button in the lower right corner to add the new forecast sheet to your workbook. This sheet contains the selected data series, the forecasted values, and the upper and lower confidence bounds if selected in a table on the sheet. These values are shown within a chart that appears within the same sheet. You can edit the table's values or formulas to change the value shown in the forecast chart if desired. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.